Whose house do you want to start in? Swerve's house. house. (laughs) (laughs) The following podcast is Chomp, a zombie apocalypse tabletop role-playing game brought to you by Zombie Dog Games. Be warned that there may be scenes of a graphical and adult nature that may make you feel uncomfortable. If this is the case, be sure to stop the session. Who's house you want to start in? Mitch Swerve's house. Okay, uh, we're good. We can yeah, go to my we'll house. Start, just... So Mitch uh, can gonna... play with his Magic Mitchell as a girl. Um, so Mitch, what's your character's name again? Sterling? His name is Sterling. Yes. So many ways I could go there too. Um, so we uh, we start off in Sterling's house. You are all gathered here to play a tabletop role playing game. Uh, it doesn't really matter the name of the game. Um, we'll say that you're all playing the South Park tabletop role playing game, and you've all got your dice. You got your character sheets out. You got. You know, little figures for for tracking things. And over the past weeks, you've all heard, you know, news stories um, about the zombie apocalypse, or zombies rising, you know, and going after people. Um, you, you've heard that it has increased from the whole Reese's Cup ordeal. Um, Clayton has was unfortunately bitten, and instead of killing you all, he has uh, decided to, you know, take care, take himself out, so that none of you would have to deal with that after the episode on the bus. We started so, to pa- bus. Yes. So, um, to pass the time, since uh, you're pretty much just locked in the house, except for whenever you have to go out to scavenge what little food you need, um, because this house is pretty much well fortified, which caused Sterling to take control of it, since it really uh, totally outdid his little stronghold that he had in the sewers. Um, you found that Clayton was kind of a nerd and, fa- and had several tabletop games at his disposal, which is why you picked out the South Park one to play. And as you're playing this, the news break comes over the the radio that things have increased in intensity. I'm going to turn it over to you all and uh, see where you want to go from here. The, it's an older house. Um, there are some, you know, things around uh, the weapons and, you know, things like that. You have couches, beds, uh, DVDs, things like that you can watch. But as I said, right now you're playing the South Park TTRPG. So I turned it over to you all. Yeah, but I don't want to make the death saver. Then I have to sleep with Cal's mom. Well done. That's why it's called a save. Well, then you're going to have to roll to see if the kids yell, uh, you bastards, you kill Kenny, and see if you can bypass the whole save thing. You sound so disinterested, are you? (sighs) Ah. Uh, my brother used to play this stupid game all the time, and I always got roped into it, and it's not my favorite. What if we play a game where, like, we do, we, we play some sort of game where if we get hit, Mitzi has to strip? You're such a perv. Uh, that or we could just get drunk. I don't know, should we be worried about the zombie thing that we just heard on the radio? I mean, I really don't want to deal with those things again. Or, okay, so then while you're sitting here hiding like a coward, or a... or a, uh, 
ignorant. Like you want to go out by yourself? Or I'm we gonna, could play, uh, or, or we could play Murder, Death, Kill. Uh, that's not good. Right. Here, yeah, let's do that. As you all are discussing this, one of the children that you say comes into the room. I don't know why you wouldn't let me play, but um, I just want to let you know that um, we're out of food. Oh, how much food great. was in this house, and how did you eat it all? I didn't eat it all. Oh. He looks at your your stomach. Oh, this stomach is muscle, kid. <laughs> muscle. I and, didn't know uh, that uh, um, muscle jiggled like that. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case this comes up later, if we have to eat people, don't eat their brains because it gives you like a mad cow or like brain cancer or some shit. And if, Kid, we, if you uh, say and, one more thing to me, I'm going to feed you <laughs> to the zombies like your mom was. And if we have to eat anyone, I vote you as I point to Jesse's character. He has the lanest. He starts crying. I want my mommy die. I wish I didn't say that. That was, that was really mean. Oh, God. Can you, like, grow up in the next five seconds, please? Uh, this, yeah, congratulations. I, I go over there. and I put my hand on his shoulder. I'm sorry I said that, but this world is harsh. And you're probably going to have to grow up fast, which doesn't really mean much to you now, I know, but... Shit has gotten crazy. He his shoulders are bouncing up and down, and he pokes you in the belly, <laughs> and then turns around and runs away. Well, <laughs> uh, look at you, Mister Tensu. Every time you poke my belly, I fart. Okay, he's out of the room now, but you do hear him yell back down. But we are out of food. I look we over got to, you, kid. I look over to Sterling. Did they eat all the food in the house, or did they just mean the food you gave them? Uh, no. What what we were all implying was that you ate it. I haven't eaten anything but these energy bars, and you see like ten wrappers around where he's sitting. Yeah, Sterling. We, had, we we tried to ration this out to per person. Well, you are a survivalist. Why the hell did you think it out better? I handed you two. I'm a growing yeah. boy. Where's your yeah. baker buckets? What? Early uh, would know that all Clayton had stored up was some canned foods, but mostly like Cliff bars, protein bars, meal supplement bars, because they last the longest. What's that shit they used to like sell on late night infomercials? Like those buckets full of like dried mashed potatoes or some shit? You don't have Well, he does not have any of that. All he has are these as I pick up a wrapper. And hey considering guys, the fact we have this guy here eating there's a, uh there's a full bo there's a full box under my chair I was hiding, but you can have it. I feel like a dick. What about water? Did you As water I take the box. I take the box. I mean, I basically have to be nice to everyone because if we have to repopulate, I'm obviously sleeping with her. So, yeah. <laughs> in your dreams. Oh. Yeah, right, buddy. As I put the box in a... We're probably all going to have to. And lock it up. Or uh, put it in front of the door. Before you, you do that... Life. Not unless you want you, my rape whistle sh slammed up your he, ass, you are. She's going to be like Mitzi plus eight, or plus ten, because Kate was eight. Before you put it up, you notice that there is a hole chewed into the box. I didn't do that. Uh-oh. Uh I did uh, not do that. Uh, uh, I put the box... Mm, I still put the box in the closet... But I do look in the hole. What kind of a hole does it look like? Like a... It's, like it's, a, it's a hole about the size of a 50 cent piece. Okay. A poker What's chip. What's in it? 
Uh, as you look into the hole, you hear scratching coming from inside of it. And like a very pained groaning sound coming from a small little creature as a rat shoots out of the box. And I, and I say shoots, but it's a lot slower than that. And you notice that its eyes are redder than normal. Um, and you smell the stench of death on it. I'm going to try to kick and- it. You're at the table. Okay. I thought it was running by us. Uh, no, it's still in the box. Okay, okay. Can I smack it with my pistol? Sure. Uh, hey, guys. I yell rat, and then I'm going to smack it with my gun. Mitzi 2d6, pulls- right? Yep. Yeah. Mitzi pulls out, like, the uh, mousetrap board game and throws it at you. I never played that, because I never had the attention to set it up. Well, I got a total. Yeah. See, that's the you... thing. Like, I wouldn't have played it. I would have just, like, messed with the pieces <laughs> and set them up. Oh, I, I love did that. It. I kind of did do it. that. Uh, you managed to kill this mouse. It falls to the ground or to the floor dead. And I turn and I look at, uh, hey, this thing was in, the rat was in the box and it smells kind of bad. Hey, should we give it to the kids for food? <clears throat> no, we should uh, look at you to make sure you're not infected. Do you want me to strip? I mean, Mitzi might like it. Uh, No. I don't Um, think I have any bites. Maybe it was like in the chocolate bars when you ate them. Oh, God. I I look in the box. I am having a hankering for brains. And I get up and like start stumbling around being an ass. Uh, I... I if look you in can't the box. laugh at death, what, what else can you laugh at? I mean, we're screwed. Is there more rats? Well. No, no more rats. And strangely, there are no droppings in the box either. Are the rest of the bars okay? No. Oh God, the bars probably have wrappings in it. I probably eat the wrappings. I mean, the droppings. I throw the box out. Out. I Be specific. Oh, like I throw it out the window. As you open up the window to throw the box out, the overwhelming stench of death and groaning assaults your senses. The other two of you in there can also smell and hear the groaning. And as Sterling looks out, he can see zombies shuffling towards the house. They're not moving fast. They're what you would call shamblers, but they are coming towards the house. I shut the window. Uh, hey guys, uh, we have company, and they look very hungry. How defensible does this place look, Sterling? It's it's pretty defensible. I mean, we like board up the windows and stuff. Well, we're gonna All need... except for the one he threw the chocolate bar or the candy bars out. Or the, I the didn't throw bar. it out. He yet. opened I the window, threw it out. I think so, didn't he? Yes. Yeah, but that would mean the window wasn't boarded, then wouldn't it? I'm saying we have to board them all up now. Oh, you're saying we have to? Okay. Yes. Well, that was my character answering, not me. Let's get boarding. Uh, I will uh, I will gently tap Mitzi on the ass as I walk by. Come on, get boarding. She will kick your ankle. Ow, damn it. He jumps around like a child holding his ankle. What do I roll to try and board up the windows? Or the window I was in front of. You got to find wood first. 
Mitzi goes over to one of the tables and just starts trying to break it. Get something to break this thing up with. That's very fine. That's no problem. And smack the table with my baseball bat. It, or we have the axe. Uh, Maybe the axe would be better. Yeah. Stand back, Mitzi, and I'll hack at it with the axe. All right. Roll me a uh, roll me two d six plus your um survival modifier. Um, can I search around for really good wood to use to uh, board up yeah. the windows? Is yep. that survival? Two d yeah two d six plus your survival modifier. Give me a second, hold. I think Diffus over there has too much wood as it is. <laughs> uh, he's not even paying attention. I'm uh, trying to get your dice really working. What did he say? Um, I got you have too much wood as it is. I got a 21 total. How did you get that high? I got an 18. Oh, D12. I rolled a D20. I'm sorry. No, 2D6. Yeah, 2D6. 2D6 it okay. says right All right, let's try this again. He doesn't pay attention. Um, <laughs> I did. <laughs> Fuck you. Total vase. Uh, Mitch, you find you find some wood. Uh, Jesse, um, yes. you find uh, not find. Whenever you hit, <clears throat> hold on, Jesse. Whenever you hit the table, you you said you had an eight. Yep. All uh, right. Give me just a second. I let a, let out a Conan the Barbarian esque yell as I hack at this table. You um, you cause this table four damage. Does that mean I lose any wood or not, or get no, any wood? No, you haven't broke it. Okay, but I will you try get me... another swing. Ah. Give me that stupid axe, Mixy, Mitzi, Mixy. Mitzi okay. goes over and grabs the axe. I give you the axe. You know, you could just ask instead of tugging. Didn't you learn to share in, in elementary? Uh, 2d6 plus your survival, Mitzi. Um, as y'all are down here doing this, and Sterling is gathering the wood to put on the windows and I'm going to go ahead and say that you find the nails and hammer and stuff like that too. Yeah. Um, if you made us roll for that, I would kill you. Just kidding. Yeah. Uh, it's all inclusive kind of roll. Um, you all hear a scream coming from another room on the first floor. Mitzi got and, an 11 to hit the table, by the way. Okay. You, you bust it up now and it'll be busted into pieces that will, fit over the window. Dog looks like over wide-eyed. Um, but the scream <clears throat> has no words in it, but is like a scream of utter terror. Do you know if it's human or not? Oh yeah, it's human. I run it's downstairs. More... Is it from that little kid? <laughs> oh, yes, God. it is. It is a little child. Dog will um, run to you. Mitzi will grab her gun and run after them. I grab. You give me my axe back. Go. Yeah, baby, I'll give you your axe back if you'll stop. I was asking running. out of character. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh no, I liked it better in character. Yeah. I know, okay. right? uh, uh, <laughs> um, as you all get down to the room, you hear grunting and growling and the scream of pain. As uh, you arrive at the door, uh, you also hear sobbing and we got it. We got to save the kid. I don't want it to be the, the last thing he remembers to be me making fun of his mom dying by zombies. And you're I at your last the door. Uh, interaction with him is like a heroic speech about dealing with life's pressures or whatever. That wasn't very heroic, though. <laughs> um, but you're at the door. Is the door I open the door. 
Ah, uh, okay. Um, Damn, I was hoping Jesse would like bust through. I was going to kick it. <laughs> yes, I was. And then I'll skewer the kid with with my luck. Uh, <laughs> as as you open up the door, you see a zombie leaning in through the window, clutching the kid and going uh, for a bite. And I reach out. Oh, Mitzi will shoot at it. All right, roll me. I was gonna, um, I was gonna swing for his head, but okay. Roll me two D six, and uh, I'll go with survival there. I like that. No, your attack roll, your attack modifier. Excuse me. Uh, three. I mean, six total. Did I just blow the kids off? <laughs> no, but. Um, your shot goes wide, barely missing the kid and the zombie. It goes like right between them. And the zombie, well. all right, roll me your attack plus, um, roll me your 2d6 plus your attack modifier. Right, shooting broad. I hit mm. the broad side of your ass. <laughs> I knew you were going to say something like that. The kid is screaming and pulling, trying to pull his arm away. Did he bite the I kid yet? I got trying to. In total, you cause the zombie... Uh, let me look at this and make sure I got... Uh... Okay, yeah, I thought I was right there. Um, you blow the zombie's head off and it kind of like lays in, in the windowsill, you know, like, um, been at the waist as it was crawling in, but you blow his head apart and the kid continues screaming as he's in utter shock. Doug will, Doug will run in and get the kid. Mitzi will push the zombie or try to push the zombie out with her foot. Uh, that stuff I'll I'll let you do. You know, there's no need to roll for like every freaking thing. Um, so yeah, you're able to push the zombie back out of the window. And Doug, as you check the kid, you notice fresh blood. Is that yours? Did he bite you? No, 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 no. He he didn't bite me. Uh, no, no. Whose uh, blood no. is that? Um, his. And he points at the zombie. Or hers. Oh, was and he check. points at the zombie. You don't have insight checks. I'm going to check him over for, like, any visible bite marks that I can see. Is Stop trying to fondle me, you weirdo. I'm looking to make sure you didn't get bit. I I'm going to. Because the I'm one, yeah, but the, the one window. guy. The one guy on the bus lied and said he didn't get bit. I just want to make oh sure you're telling God. the truth. Oh, my God. Like, before it was bad enough that you were just a perv. Now you're a... a I'm trying to help too? him. Shut up. What do, what do I roll for boarding up the window? Um, I'm going to let you let you board it up. No, no okay. need to, to roll for that. This is a, a rather roll light or supposed to be a roll light kind of game. Gotcha. Um, and I'm having I'm having so much fun running this. God, yeah, it's fun. It. Um, I want to get a zombie book with my audible credit ne next. I don't know what though. I'll I'll give you a suggestion whenever we get through recording. Okay. Um, the kid's struggling against you, and roll me a survival check. Two d six then. Yes. I don't have any modifiers. It's gonna be a two d six. And I oh, will. I'm fucked. I got a five. Well, with this, I will have to roll one as well. Okay. I got a Let's five see. overall. <laughs> I get a three. Oh wow! Thank God. You you notice a tooth mark on him and some scratches but the scratches 
maybe y'all understand what I mean here. They appear to be old, but appear to be fresh at the same time. Like, Does the tooth mark look like it broke the skin? Like, is the blood from him? Yes. I'm okay. He he only got a he didn't even really get his whole tooth in. I'll be I okay. Look, I will look over at the rest of the group, Tell looking like very haunted. Before, right? I mean, we'll know in a couple of seconds after he bites your ass. I'm not gonna bite anybody. I'm not a zombie. Maybe you want to gag him or something. Oh God, y'all are perverts. Is there anything that I can attempt to? I don't want to say gag him. I don't want to gag him, but in theory, gag like keep his mouth from biting me, biting us. Well, why don't we wait a few seconds? And if he turns, then we'll have to end it. I will let him go and walk over to the rest of you, looking haunted still. Like this clearly has affected Doug and destroyed his bravado. I'm going to follow the kid to the rest of the group and let them know. I thought we all knew, like, we were all standing there. No, I meant, like, the other people that are still not... Oh, yeah. How many How many people, people do we have? Yeah. House? There's three... There's a little boy and two more in the house. Yeah. That's what I thought. Remember, you had to get from the bus yes. to the house. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. Just let him go to the other people and bite them, too. Shut up, Mitzi. God, do you, do you have to talk all the time? <laughs> as I I turn, or you, you hear my guy laughing as he's walking down the hallway. Well, if you want to survive, genius. Well, if you want to survive, you got to tell him what's going on. Listen to I the walk, bitch with the brains. As you walk, walk out of the room, the Sterling, yeah. you see the boy, you know how when you'll back up against the wall and just like, sit down or how you did it whenever you were younger but the yeah. older you get the, the more it like hurts kind to of do moping. That. Oh. um he has his he has his arms behind his head and like trying to tuck his head between his knees and you can hear his tears hitting the floor kind of like doing that whole snot crying while getting into position for a tornado drill if y'all had those at school Oh, I hated it. Yeah. Mitzi is unaffected. She's totally in Buffy mode. Uh, I'm still going to go tell the other people about it. Uh, um, as you go up there and tell uh, the other two, one being his older sister and the other one being just, just a stranger. We'll say like a fry cook at the, at the Waffle House. Um, you go up there and tell them the fry cook is like zoned out. The high or uh, just like shocked? You're not there. You don't know. It's just zoned out. Now, if if Mitch was to ask that question, being up there, I could answer it. Um, uh, and the you little, said he, he zoned out. How's the little girl? <clears throat> um, whenever you tell her she begins to cry and then darts past you to go check on her brother. What about the, the survivalist guy? Where is he? The the guy that took us here. He was killed getting to the house. Oh. Because remember, we left off with you all exiting the bus and heading to the house. He had a heart attack. Yeah, he, uh, he, 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 he did. He was the zombies. He had a heart attack. He, uh, well, Mitzi was running in front of him, and her skirt bounced up, and he <laughs> fell over. He wasn't long for this world. No, he really wasn't anyway. Um, I checked the fry cook, because if he's zoned out, is he okay? He's, I mean, he's breathing and all, but he... He is zoned out. Mitzi's going to go around and board up the rest of the windows. All right. Um, like I said, I'm just going to just gonna let you... Please tell me out. there's a badass 1980s 
montage theme while she's doing this. Uh, they could be, but I can't control like which song I know, plays. That was funny. I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, well, I'm not going to control that. So yeah, we'll say that um, you're working on uh, boarding up the windows. Uh, what is Doug doing at the moment? Doug is sitting by the kid, not outwardly like bugging him, but just wants to be there for him, just to know that he's like not by himself. Uh, you will hear him and his sister talking. Doug has he's a trying to. He's trying to convince her that he's going to be okay because he believes that he's going to be okay. And she's, unlike any of you, trying to doctor the wound and you know, put bandages on it and keep it from getting infected. That should have been Mitzi's job. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> but, but instead you hear from the other room, you lot if you need an adult kid. He just glares because... She doesn't really know what she's doing, but she's trying to do her best. And when, whenever she gets done, it looks like she's put like a whole roll of gauze on his arm and like wrapped the whole uh, roll of tape on it as well. I mean, it looks like he's got one Scott Steiner bicep and the other one's like hornswoggle. It's taped oh. to his body somehow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and like for the some odd, all stuck up in the gauze. <laughs> for some odd reason, he has tape on the back of his head as well. I mean, no gauze or anything, but there's there's tape there, and it just it really looks out of place. Um, <laughs> and she just glares at Doug, mostly who she's glaring at. And you made fun of our mom, saying I'm that sorry. you watched her die, and then I'm you couldn't sorry. even help him. You big old bully. I'm sorry. I tried to help him. I, was, I know you're sorry. I was shocked myself, and I didn't mean to say what I said. That's why I tried to talk to him and you explain know, what's going on here. Just, just like all jocks, you have to pick on people who are smaller than you. Y'all are all the same. I was hoping whenever I got older, it would be different. I don't ever bully. Oh, really? You bully me all the time. Because you're a pain in the ass. Says the person who called her a bitch as I walk in with the... Uh, Shut up, with, man, with um, the 70s porn name. Well, just because my name is Awesome? Okay. Yeah, you, did, did you not know Awesome's my middle name? No, I did not. <laughs> that is kind of... Certainly, like, it's his survivalist name. His real name is, like, Larry or something. His real name is, like, I mean, Brent. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Brent. no. No. His Alexa, real name is uh, Chet. Yes. Chet. Uh, so is Sterling um, like your real Lester. name or is that is that your like special special survival name? Uh you're getting uh, yeah. more windows boarded up and and all like that. So I'm gonna go over yeah. and help Mitzi because I'm feeling like a dick. Yeah, you just leave. And I'll that's sit what... by the kid. Yes, leave it to Sterling to come in and pick up the piece. Dr. Sterling. <laughs> she, she looks at you like, like you're really weird, but at least you're showing some compassion. Oh my god. What if you just reverse it? What if your name is actually Chet Sterling? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, um, but as y'all continue boarding up the windows, um, you hear a loud groan, um, like a very, very high pitched, and it's almost like a siren, like going off, but yet it's more of a groan than an actual, like, like fire. Sire, or warning, sire. Uh, hey, where's that coming things? from? What was that, Mitzi? No, like no, one no. of those storm alarms. Yes, yes. All right, now what was you saying, Sterling? 
I was saying, where's that uh, coming from? Coming from outside. You want more specific than that? Yeah. It is coming from one of the remaining unboarded up windows on the for on the first floor. Oh gosh. I I run over to see if I could board up the window. As you get to the window, you see more and more shamblers heading towards the house and they are a lot closer than the first one that you saw out there and you see one out there that appears to be leading the group like giving them directions the moaning has intensified the smell is worse than horrible is it a shambler that's leading them? You see a bunch of shamblers. But it is not a shambler that is leading them. Um, can I board up the window in time? Yes. You can board this one up. You have two unboarded remaining. I board that, this one. Is that in the whole house or just... On the, on the first floor. Okay. I board it, and then I would like to run and tell the kids to get upstairs. They run upstairs. Is there Wouldn't it be safer room? to have them downstairs because it's boarded up down here? No. What was that, Stephen? Is, is there a basement? <laughs> y'all have not looked to see. Is but I will tell y'all... No, he, um, Clayton, give it to him because oh, he was okay. survivalist if he yeah, I was, died. I was, I was confused. Yeah. Um, but I will tell y'all that there is a basement. I, I was going to send the kids upstairs and then I was going to go and let everyone know I'm going to go check it, uh, the basement. Uh, what do y'all say as he tells y'all this information? We if, need to get all those windows boarded up. If the window, if the basement doesn't have any windows, then we should put the kids down there instead of upstairs. Well, there also could be an escape route. That's why I uh, was going to have them up here, though, so that way they're protected. Wait, so you think there could be an escape route in the basement, but you want the kids away from the escape route upstairs? I want them near you. Well, I'm going to be in the basement, so. <laughs> Actually, no. Um, scratch that, because uh, she'll go, she'll have to be defending the house. I still think it would be a better idea if the kids go in the basement, if there's no windows down there, and if there's an escape route, because then they could get out quicker instead of being all the way upstairs. Uh, I can't believe this, but away. I'm agreeing with Mitzi. I told you I'm the bitch with the brains. Well, go check the basement then. I'm going to take care of the last window. I thought that's what you were doing. I closed one of them. There's one more open. No, I'm going Mitzi, to go. Mitzi, I let's go you check were the checking the basement. <sighs> Please yeah, check I the love basement. The I love the confusion because that would be really happening if it if it actually was a zombie oh, yeah, apocalypse. It was. Yep. I hope I would have smarter people than these people. Well, I'm <laughs> saying we'll check the basement. Why are you saying I'm not smart? Oh, well, I mean, a broken clock is right twice a day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm boarding the window. I, you get it boarded up. I'll even uh, let you go ahead and board up the last one that's unboarded awesome. as well. Because there were two left that had not been boarded up. Now, who's coming to the basement with me? Nobody, all right. 
Doug stomps so, off. So, so, there is, so what's the basement look like? So Mitch, Mitch's character went to board out the windows, and Jesse's character is going to look in the basement, right? Yep. Yes. Um, Sterling has finished boarding up the windows as the two of you, Doug, well, I guess that you're going down there. Um, as Doug is going into the basement and looking around. What is Mitzi doing? Is she Mitzi's going... Gonna... Mitzi's going to tell the kids to, like, wait with her while they check out the basement and see what the basement looks like. All right. Um, Sterling, are you going down the basement as well? Doug is already down there at the Baba. Yeah, I'll go down with him. Okay. As the two of you are in the basement and Mitzi is upstairs with the kids and the zoned out um, fry cook, I want... I want the two of you, Doug and uh, Sterling, to tell me some things that you see down here. Well, he was a survivalist too, correct? Um, Clayton? Yes. 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 Uh, yeah. Okay, I would say we see like a lot of boxes. We see a lot of those like cases of water, you know, where you get like the six in a pack or whatever, 12 in a pack. Baker buckets. Baker buckets, whatever those are. I also see a lot of ammo and weaponry. Mm -hmm. I'll grab well another box no of windows. bars. Real quick. Baker there buckets, is no more like food. Jim Baker, uh, televangelist, used to sell these. Oh, the, oh. Like they're like Baker buckets. Yeah, and you got them for. I knew the And he's and they're like they're literally just dried potatoes. <laughs> Ew. Those people got so much money off of other people. Anyway, mm -hmm. I didn't really want to open that can of worms, but. You did. Do, do I see any windows? <laughs> yeah. Um. No, you do not see any windows. Oh, how many rooms I... are in this basement? Yeah, it's just say it's a big any... open basement. Okay. Is there any like sneaker passageways? Yes, there's one behind the clock over there too. To your left. No. Okay. There are no secret passageways. Gotcha. Or secret passageways. So but I what you said there's no food? No, remember the kid told y'all that we were out of food. Oh. Is there any ammo? Any what? Ammo, I think he meant. Ammo? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of ammo and weaponry and water. I think he got a phone call. Um, so we'll, we'll hop up to Mitzi. Up there with the kids and the zoned out fry cook. What's going on, Mitzi? Oh my <clears throat> god, dude. How much damn weed did you smoke? Seriously. He turns his head to the voice. And do you have any more? He just looks like towards you, but he's looking past you. Mitzi cocks her or like whatever you do with the fucking nine millimeter. I don't know. Do what now? She like kind of fiddles with her gun. I, I don't does the slider. I don't know how you use. Uh, yeah, I got you. Just messing with her gun. Yeah, I kind of like you know readying it. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> And he starts coughing and just goes back to staring. Sorry about that. I had a phone call. It's, it's all right. That's nice, fine. Say, Kaz, yeah, maybe like, get behind me or something. Uh, you, the one that got bitten, like, far away behind me. <laughs> um, They do. 
They get behind you. And the guy just just stares. He begins to cough again and you see drool going down the corner of his mouth as he keeps coughing. Mitzi backs like away to the entrance and kind of pushes the kids behind her out towards say maybe you two should like go in the basement with the other guys that one guy's the fat guy he's really mean he tries to be nice yeah I know he's a piece of shit but right now he's not a zombie and this weirdo probably is As you say that, they begin to back away, and this guy's eyes turn like a milky white, and he stands up and begins moving towards you with his arms stretched out like he's trying to grab you she to basically him. do... She points around at him. You get one warning. That's it. And you hear him. She'll just unload. Alright, roll me your attack roll. Uh, what one? Uh, 2d6 plus your attack modifier. Nine. Uh, um. So yes, you do take this one out. Excuse me. Um. Your bullet flies true and nails him right between the eyes. I mean, you could not have made this shot better if you had held the gun to his head. The back of his head explodes all over the wall, and you see brains, bone fragments, fluid, hair, you know, all kinds of stuff just splatter all against the wall. And from behind you, you hear the two kids losing everything that they've eaten in the past six or seven hours. She blows the smoke off the end of the... Uh... Uh, the end of the gun <laughs> shit bring fart <laughs> off the end of the gun <laughs> and uh kapow then just try it turns and like follows the kids to the basement uh, as you're following the kids heading towards the basement gonna cut back to our two in the basement Sterling and Doug uh, each of you give me two more things that you find in the basement. We'll say I find like a thing of painkillers. Uh-huh. And just for flavor, we'll say a, the Walking Dead zombie collection on the on uh, comic book. Uh-huh. Sterling, give me two more things that you find down here. And, of course, within reason. No, like, atomic bomb or anything. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, ooh, I find a, like, a, a set of body armor. Okay. You know, like, the, the SWAT, like, kind of body armor with, like, the, the riot gear? Yeah. I find that... And then I find, like, a survival tent. You know, like, a big tent. You know, like, mm -hmm. something that fit, like, you know, four or five people in. Yeah. Um, as y'all are both looking for this stuff, you hear <clears throat> the shot come from up above you. Well, and that'd you... be a good time for this, as I put on the riot gear. Sweet. Um, and grab you the barely tent. hear... The... You barely hear the growl, but you do hear it, but it is very faint down here. But you do hear the shot loud and clear. I mean, muffled because of distance, but, you know, you still hear it. It's like it's muffled, but you know what it was. Yeah, exactly. 
Well, uh, let's grab everything and uh, hopefully we can uh, survive this. As the kids come <clears throat> charging downstairs, you hear at the top of the stairs, I hope you find an exit down there. Uh, does, well, does it look like there's any other doors? Yes, there is. Um, I'll go check the door. I, as you walk over to check these doors, you hear a hissing noise coming from the corner nearest this little set of stairs. Do I see anything? You hear a hissing noise. I know that. But, um... No, you don't see. All you do is hear the hissing noise. Wait, the stairs oh. to the, that we are coming down? Yes, a small set. It is... Do y'all know what a storm door is? I know Stephen probably knows what a storm door is. is. Yeah, I okay. know what a storm door is. Yeah. Okay. It's the little stairs leading up to the storm door. Oh, okay. I will so bang like, on the so steps this to is, see if I can dislodge whatever hiding. Isn't... Yeah. A large gray um, rat. Uh, some people call them wharf rats. Oh, um, some people call them tree rats. Uh, scurries out and I think you cut out. Oh, uh, did I cut out? No, he's rolling something. Oh, you're rolling. Th- I, it's yeah. not like you cut out for a second. Um, I need you, Doug, to roll 2d6 and, uh, add your survival. Wait, for who? For me or for, he said everybody? For For Doug. Oh, okay, my bad. Doug, Doug, Six. Six, uh... You you see your I think it's called vitality points or health points. Yep. Um you take four points of damage as this large rat bites into your the calf of your leg. We have health points. I think I put them on your sheet as either health points, vitality points. Um let me see if I can find your sheet really quick. Uh, I don't see. see any on my page. No, I don't see any either. Give me just a second. Yeah, no, there is none. Um, yeah, all I see is traits, tactics, weapon, or inventory, and... Uh, let me, let me look this up real quick now. See. Yeah, I know it's called Vitality. Viagrity. Where is it at? Thought I'd let you know I don't have Vitality either. Oh. There's Richard always forgetting shit. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I guess Doug's dead. Shut up, Steven. We are all gathered here today to to mourn the loss. (laughs) Forget what I said Doug's last name was, so... I don't think Mitzi has the last name either. No, I read it, but where is it at? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I'm still hunting it. You think they'd have that as a section? Yeah, you'd think. Yeah. <laughs> Baby Missy's last name should be Bandersnatch. I always thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> or Beaver Snatch. It should be funny. But she's like, no, it's be there or something like that. I got to be getting close to it because I ain't got but many more options. <laughs> What else do y'all have on your sheet? That's it. Yeah, just the skills, tactics, um, inventory, career. And trait. Okay, okay, okay. Your defense is also your vitality, I believe. But I don't have anything in my defense. Yeah, I need Okay, to then that's not it. I hope that ain't one of them sections that was a picture and it didn't. There's traits uh, for Soul Charismatic for me. Yeah, mine's that impulsive. Well, that's it. And then the two tactics. And for skills, it's um, attack, defense. Survival, medical, and um, mm. athletics. And then under the, under that, it's got the roll two it. six of plus modifier rule. And it's... Maybe that's what it is. Like one d six per level. We could just say that, even if it's not. If, yeah, yeah I mean, we could just say like 10 health points each. That'll work until I find it. Alright, so I'm down to six then. We're gonna do 10 each. Yeah, that's what we'll say is you get 10 right now. Okay. Alright, so you take four damage right there. Okay, um, so as this huge rat takes a bite out of your calf, tell me what happened. It starts bleeding and I start screaming, trying to club this thing with my baseball bat. Right, roll me another attack then. You know, 2d6 plus your attack modifier. Yep, give me one second here. I would like to run and stab this thing too, if I can. Come on. All right, roll me two uh, d six plus your attack modifier. Oh Jesus! This is fun though. I like. Oh, I got six. I got a total of seven. <clears throat> um, each of you calls one point to this large rat. Describe to me your attacks. I'm going to cut um, it right in the head. I would say I'd go to stab it and I stab it in the tail. Uh -huh. I'll say I hit, go to hit it in the head and I bash in its left ear. Uh, um, it's going to go and see. 
Hey, Mitzi, help us out. Apparently, I'm still running down the stairs. This is like kind of happening simultaneously. Don't you have the axe? Don't yes, I do. Um, it, it will fail. It won't hit, be able to buy either one of y'all. It's really thrown off by the simultaneous attacks. I so stabbed we'll again. Uh, roll me. So, do I have to use, like, just combat question? Do I have to use, do I have to say I'm switching weapons or do I just switch between the two that I have? Yeah, I'm not going to go all that, but I would like you to say it so at least. Yeah, I'm using the flavor. Yeah. Yeah. I got 10. Okay. I'm waiting on uh, Doug's roll here. Oh, what am I rolling? I'm sorry. 2d6 plus your attack. Okay. A total of... Eight. I, um, describe to me how, at the same time, y'all kill this large rodent. I get a Go good for, stab in the, in the back. Uh, and as he as he's doing that, I will swing for the head again, and I'll break its neck with my bat. Okay. Making a clunch, crang noise, clang noise. Okay. Um. As this rat falls, like to the side, basically, um, dead. You both stare down at it, and Mitzi and the kids appear. I'm trying to roll the body away before the kids get a chance to see it. Like, nudge it with my foot, I think. So, what did I miss, doofuses? Uh, nothing. Uh, oh my god, bad. did you just get bit by a zombie? Your ankle is no, bleeding was a all rat. over the damn place. It was a rat, not a zombie. It was and just, we were playing ladies. a little ratatouille. Mitzi will try to look for some medical supplies in the basement. And... I found those pain pills, but I don't think they'll do anything. Repeat that again? I said I found the pain pills, but I don't think that'll do anything. It'll make it stop hurting. <laughs> it will remove the pain. Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna dry swallow two of the pills. Come here, you big jackass. And Mitzi will just look for some bandages and stuff. I'll walk over. Tactical thingy, whatever. To find medical supplies. Why are you calling me a jackass? I just did good. I stopped that thing. Um... Roll me, roll me one d six. Me or Stevie? Um, Mitzi. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's, it's one. um, lucky find as well. I was thinking of. Okay, okay, that's what you're using. Okay. Yeah. Um. So yeah, read that one to me again. Uh, pre prerequisite is medical, uh, and uh, it just says you. It just says you find medical supplies when you need them. Okay, okay. Um. So yeah, you find uh, you find a box of medical supplies. Everything like your basic first aid kit. And she'll just start trying to clean and wrap his wound. All right. Roll me um two d six plus your medical. Ooh, can we play does would the gear give me anything for defense? <laughs> no. Strictly flavor. 
Okay. I mean, it, it looks cool, but I mean, it's, it's strictly flavored, like the ammo okay. and stuff. Awesome. Uh, what did you get, uh, Mitzi? Ten. I'm sorry, ten. Uh, every time so- Richard knows this, but every time someone says ten, I think of the part in Varsity Blues. Yes, I love that movie. Um, the wrestler. Oh, the yeah. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about now. Um, so yeah, you heal. Uh, oh, me. You heal Doug back up to uh, to the ten vitality points. Cool. And I will look over that and see if I can find. I think it's two d six like a d6 per level but we'll um we'll go with everybody getting 10 uh and i everybody do 12 because that would be the max d6 okay um so now that you are healed up i mean there's still some blood seeping from the rather large bite mark because you know you still got stopped the bleeding and all. Was that successful um, at hiding the rat carcass from the children, though, so they don't have to see it? We'll say that you are, yeah. Okay. Uh, they've had enough trauma. Yeah. Um, as they walk in, they're like, oh my god, what does that smell? I think it's him. I think it's her. I don't know, she's pretty. Yeah, but she's really nice, too. What and they look the over. For? Oh my god, what rat? I hate rats. Oh, come on. You just saw me blow Cheech and Chong's head off. What's a rat gonna do? Yeah, but rats are. I don't know. <laughs> they're, they're. She looks at you. Oh my god, I agree with him. Somebody shoot me now. I'm sorry I got off of the wrong foot with all of you. I'm gonna be nicer. So, kids, who's ready to leave the house? They look at each other. Um, we have no mode of transportation. What are we going to do? Just walk? Well, it's either walk or get eaten alive in here. So what you're saying is you don't think this house is a good defensive for it's defensible enough, but there's a lot of zombies coming. You hear well, banging. A list, so. You hear banging on the storm door. Maybe it's too late to leave. Who is it? It's obviously oh, a zombie on the, ditch. On the storm door? Yes. I look under the door. Um, you do what to the door? I look, look under, under it. it. Like I look, you know, I, I don't open the door at all. I just look under. Yeah, there's like nothing. Whatever cracks or what in the door. Um. Okay, the storm doors that I've seen are kind of like at an angle, or flat on the ground where you would open them up, kind of like in the movie Twister. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay. Okay. I didn't know if they was maybe different kinds. I just knew the ones I had seen. Yeah, um, I mean, that's what I was picturing, too, when you said that. Yeah. And by the way, if you've never seen that movie, God, that's such a good movie. Um, it is a sequel. No. Yep. Leave yeah, it alone. Just... No, I'm not wrong. No, I said leave it alone. Oh, it doesn't need one, but it's getting one. So they say they're also making a major pain too. No one cares about that. Jesse, you, you take ninety-seven I, I points of zombie damage. because it's like been so long, and it'd be weird to have a sequel about that. But the original is great. Yeah. yeah. Um, Jesse takes ninety-seven points of unhealable zombie bite damage. We, should we ask our friend the audio device we have what the IMDb score for major pain is? I don't care what your stupid device says. We're playing yeah, the game. what IMDB says, because I often disagree with them. I do, too. I Major do too. Pain is actually good. I'm just giving Richard shit. I enjoy it, too. Mm. I oh. can't wait till we meet in person. You're getting kicked in the nutsack. 
Although We're not gonna if meet it's her. at least a six or above, that's fine. Um, uh, but as you walk over to the door, Sterling, the stench of death has increased. And as you're looking at the door, a loud pound comes on it and some liquid drips down and splatters right at your foot, barely missing your face. I, I turn, okay, uh, we gotta go, as um, I'm gonna start heading upstairs. Give me just a second. I guess I'll follow him. Grudgingly. I guess, you know, <laughs> barring any other tactic, Mitzi will also follow as well. Mm -hmm. Anybody gonna drag the kids along too? Please um, bring the kids. I guess that's kid. up to me. Certainly, as you are backing away from the storm door, and Doug and Mitzi are trying to get the kids, the storm door cracks and falls down, barely missing you, and three zombies fall into the basement. Okay, time for plan B. Let's go. As I, um, can I run up the stairs and take a shot? Or would that be disadvantage? Mm. It would be really hard for you to shoot while running. Uh... Okay, can I run like 20, 20 feet? And then take a yeah. shot, and then run like an hour ten. Okay, uh, I'll I'll let you run and then take a shot, or you can run while you're shooting, but you'll have to roll me um with like disadvantage. No, I, I okay. I'll I'll just I'll run twenty feet and then I'll take a shot. Okay. Okay. He's doing That's that fine. six point two and a thirty four percent from critics. I tried Don't to look care. at Ron Tomatoes, but I couldn't figure out what the site was saying. Don't care. Richard gives it a 9 out of 10. Um, as these three zombies fall in, what do the other two of you, what do Doug and Mitzi do? I got an 8. I used my plus 1. For so the okay. game? Or for the, for the, for the session? Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So they're um, breaking in through the storm door, is that, is that what Yes, they have busted through. Okay, um... Mitzi will, like, shove the kids ahead of her and make sure they're going towards the stairs, and then she'll turn around and take a shot at whatever's coming through. Uh, um, roll me 2d6 plus attack. I'm gonna try something. What's Doug doing? Nothing. No, Doug was reading. Doug is going to try to swing the axe, aiming for the head of one of the zombies. Oh right. come on, die! What'd you get? I got two a ones. nine. Ooh. Total of two. Your gun jam, and nothing comes out. She'll turn and start running towards. Um, How do we uh, do damage again if I hit? Is. What did What did you roll? A nine. A nine. Um, you hit one of them. Which one do you want to hit? One, two, or three? I'll hit two, and I want to use my true strike. I think it's called. You get to add a uh -huh. plus one to the damage. Okay. Solid strike. Um, it's called. Okay, um, I'll say that you've taken out these two. They don't have much hit points. Um, okay. I don't know if they have the same as we do or not. No. Um, there's still one there that has fallen through. And what was Mitzi doing as, after her gun jammed? I played with her uh, hair. Uh, continue, she'll, she'll continue to run towards the, st the, the stairs up and pushing the kids in front of her. And then when she gets 
to about where Sterling is, she'll get behind him and just kind of try to clear the chamber of her, her gun. I, um, I'm going to say that you, you get it cleared out. Uh, you know, eight especially with Sterling's shot. help. Do what? I got an eight for my shot. Yeah, I've already took your damage, y'all. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Um, the zombie gets back up to its feet and begins shuffling towards you, and then three more come in through the storm drain, or the storm door. When she clears her chamber, she'll try to shoot again. Uh, at the uh, one that Mitch has already hit. I'll take a shot at uh, another one that just fell in. Uh, give me just a second. Uh, and then we'll go and do your attacks again. Yep. Yeah, this time I got a nine. Uh, give me just I got a, a three. Nine, a fucking nine. Uh, Sterling will miss with his. Um, Jesse, if you're wanting to attack, roll me 2d6 plus your attack mod. Yes, uh, I will try to attack. Mitzi, you say you got a nine? Correct. Ooh, I got um, an 11. Okay. Uh, you managed to kill the one of the original zombies. Okay, there it is. Boom, baby. Um, Two for Mitzi. And the kids are screaming like hysterically. Like, they feel like they're fixing to snap. Because of this or something else that's going on out of our side? Because of this, I mean, the shooting, the zombies... Um, you know, just everything that's going on. I mean, they're still right there at the stairs with you all. Gotcha. Uh, they haven't they haven't gone up all of the way yet. Uh, I go into the kids to get upstairs. Okay. Um, Doug, uh, you take out uh, one of the ones that just fell in. So, um. As the kids head on up the stairs, heading towards the first floor, uh, I'm going to go and let the, let's see here, um, let the zombies attack. Uh, let's see here, I'm looking up the, how to get that. Did you say I was back to full health or I was back to 10 yes. out of 12? No, you're back to full health. Okay. Uh, let's see. For the moment. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay. Um, oppose rolls. So I'm just going to go with this one roll for everybody. So we, do we roll a d6, you said? 2d6 to oppose my roll. Okay, gotcha. Do we all uh, have to? Um, yes, because they're going to come in. It's like, it's their turn in initiative. Because y'all killed them up until now. Uh, you will take two points of damage. Damn it. Mitzi got an eight. You will take two points of damage. Okay, I got a four. You Mitch. will take six points of damage. Guys, uh, I'm pretty hurt. And I'm going to let y'all roll 2d6 again. <laughs> Guys, my HP has gone down. Roll, uh, roll 2d6 again. Okay. Oh, Five. Okay. Five. You will take five points of damage. I'm right there I with you, seven. Sterling. I got seven as well. You will take three points of damage. 
Uh, and what did you get, Sterling? Seven. You will also take three points of. Advantage. I guess in D and D we would say I'm bloody. Oh, I'm pretty bloody. Roll me two d six again, everybody. Oh no! <laughs> Come on, Sterling. Well, they were three zombies. Fuck three. You will take seven points of damage. Nine. I got eight. You will take. You will take one point of damage, Mitzi. I'm dead. And you will take two points of damage, Sterling. I'm dead. Oh gosh, I'm dead. What happens Wait. when you're dead? Yeah. What? Ha- how's Mitzi? I'm using my uh, to the trees tactic. So Basically, you're leaving I'm, them? Huh? Yeah, I'm fleeing. It's... The, then y'all will have to roll two new characters. Okay. Alrighty. Um, and, but Mitzi doesn't know this. Mitzi, you can... Just because they're like at zero doesn't mean that they're dead. Um, <laughs> you have a chance to heal them up, up to one. Or 1d6 plus your medical... When she left, so where's, where's Doug right? at this? Where, where, in Doug, like in the midst of all of them? Yeah, Doug's dead. Yeah, Doug's like, dead. Yeah, but like we're in the middle of a zombie attack. How am I going to heal them up to one? Oh, I agree. I'm just giving you the option. You have a the ability with your medical to do that. What about Sterling? He's she'll right take, there. She'll take a pop shot at the uh, zombies. I um. Roll me 2d6 plus your attack. Is it hard to create new characters? No, it, it's really, okay. really easy. Okay. I can't believe you're not going to heal Sterling. <laughs> Can I just yeah, say this gonna, game is a blast? She's going she's gonna to run and find a hiding spot. Oh, I thought you were huh? running away to save the kids. <laughs> Last bitch standing! <laughs> um... Mitzi, as you get up to the top of the stairs, uh, heading to the first floor, the kids have gotten up there. And as you get to the top, you see the boy bent over eating his sister's mm. stomach. I, uh, I'm i using my find a tree shit, and I got an 11. I. Um, you managed to get out and have like you have done the GTFO. She's the and final girl. Gotten, I yeah. told you, last bitch standing. 